many big brands across the world. And he will be speaking to you guys on how you can build a custom app for your businesses. So I want you guys to give a big, huge round of applause for Eric Rabo. Everyone's here to see. Who's here to see Tyree Jackson? Oh, that's my guy. I'm tired of looking at him, so I want you guys to look at him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take about 10 minutes of your time, of his time, to just talk a little bit about what I do and what I've been doing for Tyreek. So um, we'll just go right into the slides. We'll go to the next slide. So I want to talk about custom apps. Uh, how many of you are using online booking? Fantastic, that's a lot of you, and some of you aren't. So, let's go to the next slide. We're just gonna talk about custom apps. So, here, how many of you are using Instagram? Okay, so what I got up here on the screens, there's two different screenshots here of Instagram. What are we doing on Instagram? What are some of the things you're doing on Instagram? Posting, engaging with people, right? Commenting, liking. We got, oh, I'm sorry about that. We got IGTV, we got IG Stories. So, what's the difference between these two screenshots? Anybody? Say what? No, it's not business and personal. One of the engagement. My man got it right here. One is the website, one is the app. So how many of you have ever visited Instagram.com? There's about three of you. When I said, how many of you have Instagram? All of you. Why is that? Because one is an app and one is a website. I tell my clients all the time, it's better to have a thousand downloads of your app than 10,000 visits to your website. Why? Because there's retention inside of having an app. Does that make sense? Right? So the other big reason why you should get a custom app, one is retention. The other one is why did Instagram get to where it's at? because of the level of engagement, but how did they engage? Push notifications, right? If every time I posted a photo, and somebody liked it, who remembers way back in the beginning with Facebook when you posted something and somebody liked it, you got an email. Yeah. You remember that? You had to go in your email and check and you're like, your cousin liked your photo, okay? That happened all the time. When the app generation came around, push notifications changed the game because there was instant, engagement. So that's another reason why it's most important that you have a custom app because you're able to communicate with your people with your brand. It's more about branding, branding yourself. So that if you're using some sort of online booking, someone's not coming into your shop. I did an app with Tyreek Jackson for his barbershop five years ago. It was the Sharper Image Barbershop app. Tyreek's barbershop name, Sharper Image Barbershop. You walk in, everybody's wearing a smock, Sharper Image Barbershop. On the window, Sharper Image Barbershop. Then he says, hey, you can book an appointment with me, just download another app, right? So there's that separation. So you wanna build customer loyalty. How many of you use some sort of loyalty program with a brand like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks? Anybody using that? Loyalty plan, Chick-fil-A just launched an app, right? You can get the Chick-fil-A app, you can build customer loyalty. So that's the big reason why you wanna have a custom app so that your name, your brand is represented in the app store, okay? So the, the next thing I'm gonna talk about, got a few more minutes here. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time, I promise. So this is uh, the, the app I was talking about. It's the Sharper Image Barbershop app. You see Tyreek there before he had the full beard. He just had the little goatee looking like a Bobby Chulo right here. <laughs> you heard him laugh? He back there. So, this is a way to build customer loyalty, okay? You don't wanna, for me, I think it's more important. Most of the time, these other brands that you're using for online booking, once the person downloads that app, they are going into the, to that app and see a directory of barbers. It's almost like saying, hey, come to my restaurant, it's in the food court at the mall, right? Because as soon as they walk in, what are they gonna see? A whole bunch of other restaurants. So. Is it really advantageous for you to be promoting your competition, okay? That's where 
the answer for me would be no. So when you download Tyreek Jackson's Barbershop app, you're going to see his social medias on there, YouTube can be on there, and we have tons, we have about 65 different features that we offer. We have a fan page. Big Al's here, raise your hand, Big Al. Big Al's got a shop, VIP Barbershop. He's over there. So a couple guys in here already have an app. So if you guys want more information on how to get an app, to get started with it, you can follow me on Instagram, it's Effects Apps, uh, effects.com. I have some pamphlets. I'm gonna be done here in like 60 seconds. Oh no, I got two minutes though. Tyreek, I got two minutes, hold on. So that's what it's about. It's just about branding yourself. I have an app in the app store. It's under Efex, just E-F-E-X-X. -X. That's the marketing website. We have a full platform. There's a back office, you go in, you can send out push notifications, you can schedule notifications. My whole thing is, it makes sense to have your clients download the app. But how do you introduce the app? And that's what I want to talk about for the next two minutes. How do you introduce that to, the, to your client, right? So the conversation shouldn't be, hey man, I got all these people coming in to get haircuts, they're booking appointments with me, they're DMing me, they're messaging me on, on Instagram, and then I put them in my book and they don't show up. I'm tired of it. I'm doing online booking now. Get with me on online, book an appointment before you get in here because I'm done with that, I need to pay a deposit, whatever it is. That's very complaining. Me, if I'm a customer, because I'm not a barber, so I see a lot of things from the customer's lens, not just the barber's lens. That doesn't sound good to me. But if I sit in your chair, it's my first time I'm gonna walk in, say, hey, how's it going? I call something, I call it the now and later promotion. Now and later promotion, right? How many of y'all like now and laters? What's your, what's your favorite now and later? Fruit? He said fruit. <laughs> Anybody else? Purple? Great. It's not great though, it's called purple. He said sour apple, that's green, purple, right? So it's very easy to remember, the now and later promotion. So you have a walk-in, come in, they sit down, you're cutting their hair. Would you like a free haircut? What customer's gonna say no to that, right? So you say, look, if you download my app, I'll give you $5 off your haircut today. We normally charge $25, we normally charge $35. You download the app right now, in this moment, right in front of me, you're gonna get a discount. They download the app, they see a coupon inside of the app, they redeem it with you, they gotta register with you. Now you've just collected all their information. Immediately, right now, they got a discount. That's the now. Then you say, oh wait, wait, before you go, let me see your phone. You give them a stamp on the loyalty card, the loyalty card. How many of y'all have ever done a loyalty program? Right, right, so this thing's been around for 40 some years. Okay, loyalty is old, you kind of scribble your name on it. As Soon as the customer gets in the car, Falls between the seats, they never see it again. They come back, no, trust me, I got four stamps. They're like, no, you don't. So that happens a lot, but now it's gonna be in their phone, okay? And that's the way you market it. Oh, my time is up. All right, sorry about that. So, I'm gonna finish up this last point. So, you do right now, you download the app, you get five, 10, you, you get five, ten dollars off, whatever, everything's customizable in the app, okay? Then you say, wait, before you go, let me give you your first loyalty stamp. You'll get um, a, a free haircut, 50% off your haircut on your 15 stamp. So every haircut you get one stamp, or you can do 800 points, gives you a free haircut. For every dollar you spend, you get a point. You can customize it however you want. All these features are really geared towards retention, customer retention, okay? Booking an appointment is actually the, the foundation of everything, but the way you start the conversation is through incentivizing your clients, and that's what I came here to share with you today. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys want more information, I have pamphlets, and you just raise your hand, I'll bring them over to you. Nice, give it up one more time, guys, for Eric Ramos. <laughs> so, guys, uh, are you guys enjoying that? Oh, you yeah. guys like that? Yeah, yeah. How, how active are you guys? Can I hear some noise? A little bit of noise? Whoa, whoa.